Well, hey folks, BC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for stopping by today as we jump back into No Man's Land for Farm Sim 19. And, uh, well, we have some croppage ready. But what's not ready is uh, our harvester. Hmm, I still have not... Uh, not upgraded to one that'll actually cut our corn down. Yeah, that's ready to harvest. The corn's ready to harvest. Okay. Hmm. Well. Let us have a look, shall we? We got this guy, which I'm thinking is made out of wood. <laughs> that is certainly one of the strangest texture patterns I've ever seen on a harvester. Hmm. Good price, but yikes. Um, a little bit scary. Okay. Trailer device. Huh? Oh, I see. Hmm. Okay, now just out of curiosity. What have we got Pahetas corn headers specifically? Specifically, uh, that's for the Rostel Mash. I imagine, hopefully, some of these will fit. Um, yeah, that one's got its own... Okay. Why the heck is that $15,000? This one's 2,500. Hmm. Four meter. Four meter. Well, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's going to be her, huh? Hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything. All right. Now, in the hopes that that actually fits. In the ho ooh, a little bit of stutter there. Ooh, it's uh, large, isn't it? Push that out. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was going to lift it, so 
We seem to be alright. Yikes. Bit of a scary bit of kit. Okay. Let's see how she works. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh... Definitely a pretty unique paint job. Gotta say. Alright, seems to work well enough. Alright, see how we do uh, when we actually sink her into some corn. And then we can decide whether we're uh, in a safe position to sell our other harvester. Oh, let's, uh, let's just see what we've got for normal headers here. Um, oh. Oh, that's all Rostle Mash, okay. I guess that would be a normal 4 meter header there. What's the difference between that and this? Ah, it's a meter bigger, okay. So that, uh, oh. oh, there's the corn cutter for the International. That figures. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And there's the regular cutter for it. Ah, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. Um. All right, let's do this properly then. I did not realize it was going to... Uh, wow, look at these things. They got like chainsaw blades around them. I've never seen that before. But we're going to get rid of this one. It's not uh, not the right kit for this. So rather than run into issues, let's try and do this right, right from the start. Thankfully, we still have a little bit of money to play with. So let's go drop this and grab the proper one. We'll grab the corn header and the uh, the other one. But I'll grab the uh, the normal grain header once we've moved the corn header out of here. Because it does tend to pack stuff in pretty tight to that rock. Now I do have a remove rock thing. <laughs> but I kind of think it uh, looks pretty good actually, so... Why won't you let me sell it? Huh. <laughs> okay, well. That's not gonna stop us, I'm afraid. There we are, and so, yes. Okay. Back. Headers. What's, uh, oh no. It, yeah, it was under regular headers, wasn't it? There we go, yes indeed. So here it is there. Eh, four meters, so there's not much difference there. Certainly cheaper. Oh, uh, don't do that. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. That's just... That's not good. Mm-hmm. Well, that's... <laughs> Yeah, um, that's something I'm not allowed to see on YouTube. All right, let's, uh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what we've got here, shall we? That's the sucker. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Seems to work all right. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> oh, let's, uh... All right, now we have a green header. And I suppose there we go. Our new harvest. Oh, I was gonna wait and see if this actually worked, wasn't I? <laughs> well, we're gonna have to hope she does, I guess. Let's go cut some corn. So I do apologize for only getting one video up yesterday. I was uh, interrupted while I was recording the uh, the Journey of Life video, and I never had a chance to get back to it, unfortunately. So I will do my level best to get a second video up today. Okay, here we go. Working the way it should, it seems to. Geez, it sure quiets it down a lot, considering we don't actually have a cab. <laughs> but the in-cab sound is much quieter. Man, can you imagine what a dusty, filthy job this would be if you were in a an open thing like this, especially this close to the header? I mean, this one doesn't seem to be kicking up a lot of dust, at least in the front. But from what I understand, they surely do. I mean, maybe corn's not as bad, maybe it's grain that's the real doer, but as far as I know, you wouldn't really want to be either. Back to either potato or sugar beet for this block. Probably potatoes, run potatoes again. Maybe even keep some of them this time. Now I was told that we can actually, uh, if we do need to buy taters or whatever for the pigs, that there is a sell point out at the, uh, the shop. I guess basically you can buy most or all of the crop types there. God, this thing is loud. I'm sorry guys. And yeah, I mean, as far as turning the sound down any further, um, I mean, how low can we go? You know, my master volume at 30%, environment at 30%, vehicles are only at 20%, you know? The only volume I've actually got turned up that you should be able to hear is a GUI. <laughs> So 
So yeah, I'm afraid it doesn't seem to be a high point with some modders to getting their actual sound file straightened out. But that's okay. Other than that, it seems to function reasonably well. And, uh, well, it met my main requirement. It was cheap. <laughs> yes, indeed. If all else fails, let it be cheap. Ooh, we're going to be uh, full up come the end of this row. She's not got a big tank. 1,800 liters to be exact. Alright, let's get our pipe out. Nice. Uh, sure. I can accept taking the Johnny Deer out there for this. Let's do that. Plugged in and hooked up. Let's go. Good on gas? Yep. Chickens? Nope. One box of eggs. We're good. this. Yeah. Ooh, just. Okay. Well, it's better than some I've seen. Okay, and now you're not emptying. Why? Hmm? Oh, okay. Apparently it would prefer I was in the driver's seat before it would do that. Interesting. It also says it's at 0%. Wow. I've never seen a harvester empty that quickly. That's insane. Oh, start the engine. Hmm. That's just crazy. Man, that emptied quick. Wow. Definitely dumped it all in the trailer. Huh. That's crazy. Absolutely. I barely had to tell time or barely had time to tell it was unloading and it was done. And then of course it wasn't anymore. Wow. Alright, well, I guess it's got that going for it. Oh god. Speaking of corn, I'm pretty sure he used a corn broom to uh, paint his uh, harvester here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I could see that. I think if he used a, a broom to paint your thing, it'd probably look like that, I would say. Yes, indeed. Hard to believe this uh, this thing holds less than the bucket on the front of my loader. 
Not by much, but it does. Could have been further ahead to throw a little cardboard box or something up on the top for some extra room. It's really hard to see that side from down here. <laughs> you really feel like you're sitting down in a hole trying to look out over at things. Uh, 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 uh. We're getting off course. Oh, we're full. <laughs> Even worse. Alrighty. And we're facing the wrong way. So let's get ourselves turned out here. Get that pipe out. Oh, geez, I didn't shut the tractor off. Well, that's not good. Yeah. That's not good at all. Oh, that time it emptied, no problem. Boom. And it is that quick. Wow. There, this time we'll shut her down. I think this is uh, about the right size for our fields, you know? It's uh, not overly big, but it's not too small to get the job done either, so I think this will work out well. Not the prettiest thing, but hey. Pretty ain't always what you're looking for. God, it bugs me that this row is so crooked. little empty spot there. Okay, now I have no idea why or how these are so far outside the field. I suppose... Deal with them. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. Well, there we go. Try this side for a while. You know, I bet I still haven't dealt with that stump, so eventually we're going to bump into that. Ah, oh, man. It's the only time I think of it is when it uh, interferes with the harvest. By the time the harvest's over, I've completely forgotten about it. So, yeah, odds are we're going to uh, gonna run into it at some point. <laughs> ah, boy. Oh, 
And yeah, I'm gonna leave that one, uh, that one corn standing. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I'm trying to do a little, uh, a little more precise with our planting here on the next run. Keep it all in the field. No, we're not quite gonna make that, are we? No. Six hundred liters. We're probably only going to get a trailer full out of here. Nope. Don't be dumping it when I'm not there yet, for heaven's sakes. Start coming. There we are. A little easier when you got straight lines to actually uh, go in cab and get the job done, especially when the view is so uh, <laughs> not quite what you might want. Hmm. I mean, it's not as bad as some, but that does make it a bit awkward. Come on, stay on the row. How are we doing here? 56%. Alrighty. This is a little bit slow at eight kilometers an hour, but it's uh, it feels about right for what we're doing, you know. For this particular machine and what it's doing, I think that feels just about right. It's probably way quicker than real life, but <laughs> much slower than that. And I wouldn't be too happy with it. Man, I must have my uh, mic boom on some extreme point of balance. Seems even breathing on it starts it waving back and forth. It's distracting. <laughs> oh, are we dropping frames, are we? Hmm, wonder why.
Oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah. My, uh, my levels of concentration are just not up there today. Good lord. Alright, half the length of the field not realizing I was full. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff indeed. Suck her pipe in. Go in. Uh... Finish this row. <laughs> yes. There we go. All right. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little bit that we missed. Literally, just a little bit. 252 liters of corn. So I think, guys, this is probably a good spot to end this. We're uh, just over the half hour mark in. So, we will uh, finish this the next time around and uh, likely get our other field harvested. Jeez, we've still got, uh, I think our grass is ready as well. And, uh, yeah, we still haven't emptied our, uh, our silage pit. So, we'll have to see how that goes. But in the meantime, do take care of each other by, uh, you know, staying the heck away from each other and all that goodness. Till next time, though, this has been... Uh, can I harvest this bush? No. Ah. This has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao. For now.